Is, is this for a thing or is it a joke? No, it's, I think we might use it. Oh, OK, I'll do it cuter then. OK, guys, this is Chris Appleton's Ponytails Take One. This is Chris Appleton. He's a celebrity hairstylist that's worked with some people you might have heard of. He's going to show us how to do three of his most iconic ponytails. So this first look I'm going to show you is Kim K inspired. Um, I actually did this ponytail. It was a low ponytail, which I think is pretty classic of Kim. You know, she always wears such an amazing clean middle part, which I think is possibly the most important part of the ponytail. So what I like to do is just use a mist of water throughout the part. That will help kind of manipulate the hair into shape. So I'm just going to wet that down there. Just a little mist. I always follow from the nose in the middle of the eyes. I use a tail comb. When I use the point just to drag that through the middle and get a super clean part. Keep the tail part of the comb flat to the head. What's going to make all the difference is laying the hair down and getting it nice and sleek. That's what's going to make the ponytail look polished and clean. My favorite product to do this, the Colorwell Court Favorite Hairspray, has a great amount of hold, but it doesn't contain any alcohol, so it won't change the color of your hair. And it's really gentle on the hair, which I like. So if you think about it almost as like an orange, like orange segments, just use your finger and just take kind of half inch to an inch sections all the way down and just saturate the roots with spray. This is gonna give you loads of control as you brush the hair down into that sleek ponytail. As I get to the front, I usually spray a little bit more of the hair going backwards. So basically the length of the hair from you know, the top going into the ponytail. I try not to get the ends. Keep the ends nice and fluffy, but I want the roots controlled because that's what's going to be sitting close to the head. So I like to use a Mason and Pearson brush. The reason I like it is because it gets through the hair, especially thick hair like Aisha's, and lays it down super, super flat. What you don't want to be doing is doing this and brushing it all the way back. This part should fall into a middle part and then slowly tuck behind the ears and be nice and low because as you're going to end up with a ponytail that's not that low, it's going to go higher here and we actually want it right in the nape of the neck. What I like to do as well sometimes, do you mind holding this brush for me? Sure. I'm actually just going to spray the hairspray. This is a nice little tip. I just sometimes spray the hairspray onto the brush. The reason I do this is just because then I get control as I'm brushing over the top of the hair. If there's a few flyaways or any areas I've missed, it gives me a nice, clean, controlled finish. To tie the hair, guys, I'm going to use this bungee cord. Now, you can use a regular elastic, but if you want to keep the hair as close to the head as possible and make your ponytail really tight, a hook is the best one to do. Now, if I tied her hair in a ponytail while her head's down, although it looks flat, when she puts her neck up, what happens is this gets big. Can you see how that, look at the back of her head. See how you get all this bagginess here? So this now is all loose. If you put your head backwards when you tie it, and then if you lift your head up, all that happens then is it actually gets tighter and flatter. So it's a really good technique not to go like this too much because as when you put your head back up, you just end up with loads of volume and puffiness. So simple technique, but honestly, in my experience, it makes all the difference. So the hook goes in at the bottom. We're gonna put the hook in on the underneath and then just keep it as low as possible. So just stretch it around the bottom. And you can see it's kind of like a mid-length ponytail, but it doesn't look as dramatic. So what I would like to do is add an extra hair piece. Mitch, where's the ponytails? This is um, a hair extension ponytail, so relatively inexpensive. This one is from Glam Seamless. It's really easy. There's a hook that you hook into the base of your ponytail, and then there's a wrap, which I'll just take this net off so you can see, and the wrap runs around the base of it. So what I'm gonna do to make sure the ponytail doesn't go anywhere is add another elastic just below the base of the ponytail. The reason being is because if you hook the ponytail in the base of what you've already done, it's gonna really hurt your scalp. Because what we'll do then is cheat it and we actually put the hook into that elastic below. So it sits just right underneath and then use this piece of hair over the top just to kind of basically hide the root of the ponytail. Effectively like this. So now what we're gonna do guys to create that wavy effect is we're gonna take sections of hair you can use more of the Court Favourite hairspray, and I'm gonna use this waving iron. When I'm putting it in, I like to kind of rotate it a little bit, so I just rock it up and down the hair so you don't get too much of a line, and then basically just clamp away. Okay, cool, so now you put the wave in there, all we're gonna do is just brush through the wave. How's it feel? Feels really nice. <laughs> Feels very weightless. Okay, guys, so this is the Kim K inspired ponytail. You can see from the back, she's got this nice textured long pony. It's nice and sleek, and then these little details at the front. But the key part is that really nice middle part. Keep it nice and clean and sharp. 
JLo Inspired Ponytail is in a different position. So this one is bang in the middle of the head. The idea is with this is that you follow the eye line. So basically from where the eye line is, you go straight back and that's the position of the ponytail. Again, we're gonna apply product. So I always like to use the Cool Favorite Hairspray. Open up the hair so you can get the product throughout the roots. So when you pull the hair back, you get that really laid flat look. Remember the important part to kind of assess when you're doing this is to keep your head back so you get a really nice clean neckline. So I'm just gonna use my hands to literally push all the hair flat against the scalp to get a good grip. I'm gonna use the bungee cord. The bungee cord goes on the underneath. And then when you're tying the bungee cord, you just wanna make sure you keep it as flat to the scalp as possible. Now for me, especially if you've got thick hair, bungee cords, are the best thing to hold the hair so it's nice and close to the head. If you have fine hair, you might get away with just using a regular elastic. I'm kind of like all or nothing, so I go hard or go home. So I usually use a couple. I'll usually go over the top. This is a blanks elastic, and this gives the hair a really good grip and just stops it from slipping. The most important part about my ponytails, and I think why they look different, is because they're close to the scalp, they're really fitted and laid, and then you have the hair that kind of looks more dramatic. Okay, so guys, now what we're gonna do is just add a little bit more volume and a bit more bounce to the ends. I like to use the Colorwell Extra Shine Spray, so I'll spray it on the hair first. This is gonna give it some love and some shine and make it look a little bit more luxurious. And then just using a large curling iron, just wrap it around so you get a nice bounce in the hair. You don't need to use anything too tight, but the idea is that you give the hair a bit of love so the ends just kind of have a bounce. And it really doesn't matter if your hair is longer or shorter. In the JLo picture, it was a little longer than this, but honestly, it works on all lengths. It's good. It's about getting that nice sort of pull on the face from the front. Okay, so now we've curled the ends of the ponytail. I'm gonna spray some more shine spray to my brush because I really want this ponytail to look glossy and polished. And now we're gonna brush it out, but we're gonna brush it out in one go and we're just gonna give the ends a little bit of love and push them together so it has a nice kind of bounce to it. So that way then you get that nice kind of swishy. If you just move your head from side to side, I'll show you. you can see the hair's got like a nice bounce and a nice swish. It doesn't have to be super curly. It's not really about being curly. It's more just about having a bounce. So when you kind of move your hair, if you just flick it from side to side, it kind of swishes and has some volume to it. Now we're gonna show you the Ariana Grande inspired ponytail. So this is high, it's fuller. So what we're gonna do is just use some hairspray throughout the roots, just breaking up the hair a little bit so you get that nice clean finish. I tend to like to open up the hair and put my product in there just so you can really kind of get those roots going in the right direction. So now we're gonna dress the hair up into a high ponytail. The idea is that you get the hair as high as possible. Now honestly, for you guys at home when you're doing this, I would just put your head upside down. It's much easier. So if you just get your head upside down, if you lean over for me, I'll put you to the side. Putting the head upside down instantly makes everything a lot easier. If you're trying to do it with your arms up in the air, you're kind of going to give yourself arm ache. And quite honestly, you're probably not going to get the ponytail as high as you want it. Now we're going to use the bungee cord again at the root. So we're going to hook about underneath. What I would do at this point is it looks pretty sad when it's flat like this. So what I would normally do is take a second elastic and first of all, I'd put it around the base, especially just because Aisha's got really, really thick hair. You're definitely gonna have more of a chance of it slipping out. So just locking this in over the top will make a big difference. Then we're gonna use a second elastic about half an inch above what we just did. Now, if you don't wanna use a hair extension, this is a great way to give yourself more volume. You can see instantly it gives you that kind of bouncier, fuller look. Okay guys, so we're gonna now detail it a little bit. I like to use this toothbrush. This is kind of like a detailing brush. Add a little bit of hairspray and just go up and make sure you follow this eye line. So this is what's really gonna make the hair kind of clean and what we call snatched. I think my idea of a snatched ponytail is when the hair is really laid, it looks really polished and it's kind of nice and tight. Okay, so we have a nice ponytail. Just move your head around. You no, know, move it around, yeah, swish it, like flip it over. Yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna go anywhere. Now what I'm gonna do is, if you wanna kinda add a ponytail, I'm gonna use this second elastic that we used as volume to actually hook a ponytail piece in so you get a more dramatic finish. At this point, I just wanna talk to you a little bit actually though, before we add any hair, about how important the eye line is. So we've done three things. We've followed the part down, we've followed the eye line back, but now we're actually following the cheekbone up. So when you follow the cheekbone, right up, that's where your ponytail should sit. When it sits there is when it really pulls on the face and gives you that snatch kind of result. So guys, we're gonna add this ponytail piece now. Remember, I'm gonna use that elastic that we tied over the top. I would never put this ponytail 
around the base um, of the head without kind of doing so. So this is just going to Velcro in now and you can see you get that much more dramatic ponytail. Aisha, how does it actually feel on your head? Does it feel heavy or does it feel good? It feels good. It feels very, feel too very light. Oh, good. So we're just going to wrap that around. It Actually, I like wrapping it around as well because I feel like it gives it a little bit more of security and almost a bit like scaffolding. So a bit more hairspray just to lock it in place. And then we'll use the hairdryer, guys, just to really lock it in. Now we have the long, sleek ponytail. So at this point, I like to add a bit more shine. I'm going to use the Colorwell Extra Shine Spray. Put it on a detangalizing brush. I like to use a detangalizing brush at this point just because I find it gives me a little bit more control. So you can see from the back, you get that super chic, kind of shiny, glossy, glass-like hair, which I think looks amazing. And in that really nice length as well, it looks great. Now, if you look at the profile, you've got that really nice snatched look here. So it's really nice and clean. Remember before we said we're following the cheekbone, which gives you that really snatched look. It's complimentary on the face. And really kind of just, I don't know, it's girly, but at the same time, I think it looks pretty fierce. I think out of the three ponytails, this is probably the fiercest, most confident, just because it's pulled high, it's tight, and you've got that real dramatic length. You look amazing. Thank you. You feel good? I feel great. <laughs> That's been my three ponytails. We've gone from low, medium to high. If I had to pick a favorite, I would probably say a high ponytail never goes out of fashion because it's probably one of the most confident, dramatic looks. But it's also technically possibly one of the more difficult ones to do because when you're dressing the hair up that high, you're going against gravity and you've really got to make sure everything stays in the right place. I expect to see you rocking this. I will be. Maybe you should keep this ponytail. You no, know I think I should. I think you should. I feel <laughs> bad. I mean, you've, you've been a trooper. You've gone through the three, the three different ponytails. Thank you for being my model. You look Thank amazing. Thank you so much. This is so much fun. Thank you. <laughs>